Good morning, everybody. Sir, I would like to go through the complete details about PhD admission uh, from NIT Warangal in various subjects. It's a wonderful opportunity. The people who are uh, trying to get the admission into PhD so that uh, you can browse the details on this website, NIT Warangal. You will get all the details uh, and also you'll get a PhD admission portal from NIT Warangal. From this portal, you'll get all the, you need to fill all the details here. And before going through this, I'd like, I'd like to share about the important information that is about the complete details about this particular information. Here is PhD admissions, December 2020 session that has been given notification on December 1st itself. Let us see the details here on which subjects you have got the uh, vacancies uh, for PhD admission. Especially uh, the PhD programs in full-time and also part-time modes are offered in the following departments. Uh, there is only one vacancy for PhD admission into civil engineering and four vacancies in ECE and seven vacancies in computer science and engineering. And in, sub in the subject physics, there are 10 vacancies and uh, school of management 13 admissions are vacant and for electrical engineering two vacancies, metallurgical and materials engineering five, Bio biotechnology eight admissions are there and for the subject chemistry 11 positions are there for mechanical engineering three admissions are there chemical engineering six mathematics nine positions humanities and social sciences all vacancies are there 12 admissions are vacant actually for this humanities and social sciences there is only one option that is in private mode uh, sorry part-time mode and the rest of the subjects in part-time and also full-time as per your convenience so let us see the details uh, what is the procedure the candidates selected for this admission full-time program are eligible to receive institution fellowship as per mhrd rules as per this uh, details reference number and all you can see that the ever institute fellowships are subject to change from time to time under instructions of the ministry of human resource development government of india and for uh, category wise ews obc cst and wd reservations on overall available uh, seats will be followed as per government of india norms so see that the tentative dates uh, schedule of phd admissions for december 20 december 2020 session, announcement of invitations on 30th November 2020, and last date received the applications is about 18th December 2020. Announcement of candidates called for interview 29th December. So on 29th December, the selected people will be called for interview to, uh, to exhibit your research prospects, your research proposal and all. And written exam, written test and date of an interview is for 4th to 8th January 2021. So by 29th December, you will be selected uh, for attending interview uh, and also written test on 4th and 8th January 2021. Announcement of selected candidates 12th January 2021. Whereas Dates for reporting of selected candidates for PhD admission, 18th to 20th January 2021. That means by January 20, January before uh, January 18th itself, uh, you will come to know your confirmation of your PhD admission. So as I sent one video about the necessity mandatory of PhD, try to utilize this chance by applying for this PhD admission. And some other rules of admission here, NIT Warangal rules and regulations for PhD. And the student category, there are 12 different categories. That means regular uh, fellowship people, the people who are who have been qualified from uh, CSIR, UGC, NET, and all. And also, uh, as per R&D rules and regulations, part-time uh, 
uh, sponsored student from industry and R and D uh, organizations. There are all these varieties. You know, uh, you will come under all the, one of these uh, twelve conditions. If it is part time, also uh, permanent faculty and other permanent staff of NIT Varangal, and permanent faculty of private academic institutions with NIRF ranking below 200 at least once in the last five years. This is the condition has been given uh, for the private uh, colleges. And permanent faculty from educational institutions, fully funded by the, fully funded by the government of, uh, or maintained by public-private partnership, PPP mode. And uh, permanent employees of private industries also can apply. And permanent employ employees working under government, R&D, laboratories, government organizations, government industry, PSUs, and state undertakings. So that you just see that, you know, uh, from which category you will come under, you will find out this one. And doctoral uh, student of category A will receive the institution scholarship for the duration of three years. And if it is extended by one more year, uh, with the recommendation of doctoral security committee, four years they can uh, get the uh, scholarship fund. And student of category D will be sponsored by financial government and uh, sponsoring organization. These are all the details here given. You can just go through all these. And part-time students uh, uh, and also shall produce a sponsorship come clearance certificate from the director NITEW. And also no objection certificate if it is uh, private working people. So part-time, you can pursue this PhD through part-time mode. And if you are interested to go for um, um, you know, regular mode also, you can do. So this actually, what is the eligibility for this is, you know, first class with 60 percentage aggregate. Uh, that means minimum first class. And for uh, that is PG, PG master degree with minimum first class. And if it is CGPA 6.5 CGPA must be there under UG and PG. For OC and BC and all, 55 aggregate, aggregate marks are enough. And also, uh, the people who are uh, who are interested to pursue part-time mode, uh, gate is not required. If you want to pursue regular mode, uh, gate is compulsory or else NIT, uh, sorry, uh, NET, NET, NET or SET are compulsory. If it is part-time mode, uh, NET or SET or gate are not required. And uh, science, you know, all the from all various departments. If it is part time mode, it is not compulsory. Uh, gate or UGC, CSIR, NET or SET, they are not required if, it, if you want to pursue through part time. But that means part time scholars are, not, are exempted to uh, have compulsory. It is not necessary to have gate or UGC or CSIR, NET or SET. So that uh, humanities also in the same condition. And the School of Management and all, they have clearly mentioned all the particulars under the admission process here. And uh, what is the fee structure? Let us see that uh, institutional fee. Tuition fee for one semester, 7,500. Other fee is about 32,000. Together, 39,500, uh, including the entire semester. So that uh, other fee details are like, 32,000 that you can see that one time payment at the time of admission 24,500. Uh, that means admission fee 2500 and identity card 250, 250. alumni association fee 2000, students' cooperative, uh, cooperative stores 7,750, career development fee 2000, convocation fee 2000, institution development fund 15,000. Altogether 24,500. So one time one time payment is required twenty four thousand five hundred altogether, and other fee payable per year is seven thousand five hundred. That means maintenance of computer, email, uh, that is a thousand rupees student activity, welfare fund two thousand, games and internal uh, inter university tournaments and all thousand rupees, medical and health service thousand, and student library fund is about fifteen hundred rupees, and institute fest and all spring spree. No, no face, youth face, and uh, IO Dan, all these together, 1000. That means all together, 7500 7, you need to pay. And all together, for PhD programs, the additional fee as under will be charged during the uh, fifth semester 
that is about uh, uh, by closing submitting your thesis thesis processing fee about 5000 and thesis evaluation fee 25000 that means at the time of submitting your thesis 5 uh, 5000 plus 25 altogether 30000 rupees you need to pay so this is all fee structure all the details and the, the selected candidates are required to submit the fee online and uh, instructions to apply here a phd program on full time on full time basis they have given admissions nitw.ac.in and also uh, all the registration fee and all i'll uh, share that uh, uh, links online links uh, in the description below in the you can comment box on uh, PhD registration fee and all you can uh, that is about you know for, uh, people can uh, apply online for OBC and others uh, uh, 1600 rupees and uh, for uh, SCST PWD candidates uh, have to pay 800 rupees that means 50 percent deduction that is for applying for this admission application online so that uh, you can also pay through online uh, and also you the candidates who are employed uh, wish to do phd under full time must enclose no objection certificate from the employer it is compulsory and what are the documents required for this position for this particular application process of admission uh, admission for phd SSC copy data uh, because of support of date of birth, intermediate certificate, and also provisional certificate, degree, PG also, and qualifying examination, attested copy of the CAS certificate in case of SC and ST, and a EWS candidate certificate issued after 1st April 2020 as per the format given in the Annex 1. So that OBC candidates, OBC uh, certificate issued after 1st April 2020 as per the format uh, given in the page number 17 and no objection certificate from the employer if employed and relieving certificate from the employer at the time of admission and also photograph on application form and a copy of the grade rank card date if you have and a fee payment receipt of the transaction number and statement of proposal research and uh, whatever the statement of research proposal in uh, two to three pages abstract you can submit uh, it is called you know research proposal any other documents if you have you can uh, if you have publications and all you can uh, enclose and part-time mode also in the same way uh, i'll include all these details in the description box and list of the documents and all you can see that and uh, the research areas have also been given in uh, individually specifically one one subject each and particularly subject wise uh, uh, details have been given. I will show you. If it is the uh, Department of Civil Engineering, all these subjects are enclosed. Uh, research areas uh, altogether one, two, three, four, seven areas are there uh, with your respective subject. If it is uh, electronics, electrical engineering, these are all the content research areas. And if it is uh, mechanical engineering, these are all the areas altogether seven or eight are there. And uh, Department of Electronics and Communication, EC related subjects, research areas. On this particular research area, you can pursue, you can put up your research proposal. And for the subject, metallurgical and material engineering, also it has been given. And uh, for bio, bio, biomedical and uh, also chemical engineering research areas, there are so many in chemical engineering. You can see that. And uh, Afterwards, computer science and engineering, there are so many uh, sub contents, uh, topic, research areas. On these research areas, you can pursue PhD. And the Department of Biotechnology, there are near about 10 plus topics of research areas. And if it is for uh, fluid dynamics, uh, there are four. And the Department of Physics, there are so many topics uh, for physics. And also for research areas in uh, department of chemistry again there are so many areas so that you can see and find out uh, whether you, you are interested in doing in pursuing this and for uh, department of humanities social sciences under literature uh, british literature and e e english language teaching elt uh, especially for the people who did masters in english literature and also uh, school of management uh, you can see that 
uh, only marketing finance in IT, human resources, economics, all these things are there, the school of management. And for English, there are only uh, two research areas, British literature and English language teaching, ELT. So these are all the sub areas and also you can include, you can see the annexure one for general EWS certificate procedure. And also uh, for annexure two, uh, to get the certificate of OBC, uh, you can see this. And also uh, the other declaration of OBC certificate candidates, declaration process. Uh, these are all the details and uh, just uh, try to apply and try to get the, try to secure admission into PhD and uh, you, you'll be in a position to continue your profession uh, with full satisfaction and also you'll get more number of uh, uh, government uh, opportunities in uh, central universities and uh, some other state universities after pursuing a PhD, PhD uh, which is mandatory um, uh, from the from the next uh, uh, academic year that in, means uh, July 1st 2021 onwards at least you just uh, get the admission into PhD and after that you can you can go ahead with your admission and doing and doing research you can submit your thesis within three to four years and get awarded PhD and wish you good luck and apply for this and get admission and uh, you can also watch uh, watch uh, so many videos from my side if you subscribe you will get more updates from my side thank you for watching this video